But that's the thing. He could have never met up with Jaffin. Oh? But he died outside, didn't he? Yeah, well, what JJ is referring to is the time of death. Jaffin died after the light switches got disabled. And Justine told me about what happened to your light switch before the trial. Gus, Jama wanted to create a mood by turning the lights off, but it wouldn't go on again. Or it wouldn't go on. So he did. After he got back, Jama wanted to turn off the lights since the door was open anyway. But it wouldn't go off at all. The switch refused to work. It was like magic. No, that's nothing like magic. Oh, right. I did try to do that. Oopsie, looks like I threw Justine under the bus for no reason. Jeez, you definitely knew, didn't you? Well, we need to explore everything, don't we? But now that we are here, we should talk about the light switches more. That's the best next course of action. I agree. In our case, I accidentally hit the light switch with the tennis ball. After that, the light wouldn't turn on again. And on our side, Jama could have turned the light switch off when he wanted to. <laughs> It would have been so fun to accidentally hit Justine in his ugly face. Combining accidentally and hitting in his ugly face doesn't work. But what could it be? I don't know either. Even so, we can't let this stomp us. We gotta find the truth. Oh come on! Talking about electricity is boring. We don't have much of a choice, do we? Both the light switches turning off can't be a coincidence. Then what happened? I think someone overloaded the breakers. Was there evidence to support that? Did we even do enough investigation? Or perhaps we are overthinking this. What if the light switches not working are due to two separate things? You'll come far with that. That's probably the case. Huh? It's definitely possible for the outside light to have been broken separately from the one in the room. That way, it would seem like someone overloaded the circuit. Even so, that's a bit presumptuous, don't you think? Yeah. But, if I may add, isn't the electricity from a shack and the main house usually separate? Yeah, I think I've seen something like that before. Aren't there like, four groups of different electricity currents? Yes, overloading one wouldn't mean overloading the other. Wait your turn! Again, this being presumptuous. Is it really? Definitely. Why would we assume the lights were broken set when the circuits overloading is more like Why is it more likely? We haven't found anything that could make the circuits overload. Even so, there's no proof for the lights being broken set. Maybe both of them were tainted with before. Dissect the problems. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that. Wh why not? It's because you, hitting the switch with the ball, made it turn off. Wait, where are you talking? Hey, man, watch it! The <sighs> right, if they were both tampered with beforehand, it wouldn't have worked before we got there. So if you're saying that your switch worked before Jamelian hit it, then he broke it, right? In that case, it's too suspicious to write off as an accident, right? Hey guys, hold on. Yeah, and if we consider another- Okay, I got it. Huh? Got your SF4K landed here. Always up to date with the clean fit. Yeah. Better be ready for the big bit. Looking with precision. Time control, no joke. See it dance, see, see it, it go. go. Stop the time and press rewind. Try to flee, let it be. All the people wanna loop, but the worry, I'm the fool. I would let them off the hook. Yeah. Time yeah. stop, play it cool. Uh.